AITA for asking to take the son I gave up on vacation with me? I'm not the oop. This was posted by you, throw our amadulets in our amethyus hole. Mood spoiler. Sad but for a different reason. Less than. Original. The 18th of December 21. AITA for asking to take the son I gave up on vacation with me? So I. 26 F. Was inspired to write this by another post that I saw that seemed similar to my situation. When I was 19 I gave birth to a boy named Alex. He's 7 now. I didn't bond with him at all when he was a baby and even though I loved him more than anything. My life was ruined and his would be too. I was failing my classes. I couldn't work and I couldn't afford babysitting. I gave Alex up to my mom and stepdad and they've raised him as their own ever since. My mom and stepdad took on the role of grandparents and while I wasn't there for Alex as a baby. He knows me as mom which I am so thankful that my mom allowed. Thankfully my parents are tech savvy so I was able to FaceTime with him every night. My grades went good. I have a degree, a good job and am in a relationship I hope will lead to marriage. My fiancé Jacques, 30 M. Knows how important Alex is to me even though he doesn't live with me and isn't being raised by me. My parents still have guardianship over Alex but he started spending a weekend every month at my place. But we still FaceTime good morning, after school and good night every day. Yesterday, Jacques surprised me with tickets to go with him to his cabin in Ontario for a week. Jacques really likes Alex and wants to get to know him better. Jacques is really impressed by how smart Alex is and thinks he could get him into the local private school he teaches at. But I'll admit that Alex doesn't really know him even if he's told me thinks he's cool. I know I can't force love but if Jacques didn't respect my son even if I'm not raising him I never would be with him. But I also don't feel I can get married unless Alex is okay with it either. So I asked Jacques if he could get a third ticket so Alex could come with us and he agreed right away even though it had cost more. I called my mom and stepdad and asked if I could take Alex on vacation after Christmas since he'll be off school for the next two weeks. My mom didn't seem that enthusiastic about it. My stepdad pretty angrily told me that he my mom and Alex already had plans for that week and that they did not want to cancel them and that he was really upset and hurt by me asking without even thinking they had something going on. He told me to go and sort out my priorities before phoning them back. I talked to a friend of mine after that who I appreciate for being blunt and she told me it was an asshole thing to ask because I didn't focus on Alex enough to even know that he and my parents might have plans. And I've felt super terrible about it since because I don't want to be taking my parents for granted. I told Jacques and he told me I wasn't wrong to ask since I wasn't demanding anything and that my friend was wrong for saying that I was an asshole but I'm not sure. Hashtag verdict asshole. Update. The 28th of January 22. Update. AITA for asking to take the son I gave up on vacation with me? Hey everyone, my fiancé learned of my account yesterday and advised me to make an update cause I got voted. Asshole. After I posted I was going to go to my parents and apologize in person but my stepdad came over. Instead, he took me to the ice cream shop he'd take me to when I was little to talk. I used some of your pointers in our talk. He apologized for making the comment about my priorities and said he was wrong. He told me how proud he was of how far I've come. How I'm the light of his life and that he'd always stand by me. He told me he and mom were scared I'd try and take custody of Alex since I am finally ready to be a mom and if that's what I want, then he'll support me. I told him I just want what's best for Alex but my biggest fear is he'll grow up thinking I didn't love him and I want him involved with me and Jacques cause he's the most important thing to me. That I don't feel like I can get married or have more kids unless he's okay with it cause he's my baby.
We agreed to work something out after Jacques and I came back from the cabin. He gave me a big hug and a kiss on the forehead when he dropped me off. That was the last time I saw my stepdad he had a massive heart attack when we WRE at the cabin and he passed. I don't like typing that. I moved back in with my mom and Alex cause I don't want my mom to be lonely or for Alex to feel abandoned. Since then I've kind of gotten to really be mom. I've been making all Alex's food. Dropping him off. Picking him up. Helping with homework. Putting him to sleep. Cuddling with him. Everything my stepdad did for me. It's tiring but it's more rewarding than anything and I just wish I could see my stepdad again and ask if I'm doing a good job. Thankfully my work has provided grief counseling and I'm able to take Alex with me. I think it's helped him more than me cause when my mom put up a photo of when my stepdad first took me fishing and when I saw it when I came home I just broke down crying cause I miss him so much but then Alex came and hugged me and said mommy you don't need to cry. For my mom I'm going to keep stepping up and be there for her. And for Alex I'm going to try and get stronger than I am so I can be the mom he deserves. Thank you guys for giving me help before. I know things are a bit sad now but I think the future is a bright one and my stepdad always told me to look forward. Thanks. Reminder I'm not the oop. Oof. That update. I'm glad Op was able to have that closure with her stepdad before he passed and hear how he saw her. As the light of his life. Wow. I saw the trigger warning but wasn't expecting what came next. I am really happy for her that the last interaction she had with her stepdad was such a loving one. My mom suffered a fatal heart attack out of nowhere on the 22nd of December. So that update really hits home deep to me personally. I'm glad that they were able to have one last meaningful conversation. And that the stepdad passed with Op knowing that he truly loved her. And likewise that she loved him. TH update broke my heart but I'm glad her stepdad and her got the closure. I'm glad she found an amazing partner and that she's going to support her mom and son through this. So sad still. That is heartbreaking. Because obviously she loved her stepdad and was very grateful and did understand what he felt. She didn't realize she was stepping on toes and wanted everyone to be happy. That's heartbreaking. I'm really glad Op was able to talk to him before he died and resolve things. I can't imagine the added hurt and possible nastiness that might have sprung from their grief if they hadn't. I don't really understand the asshole verdict on the first one. I called my mom and stepdad and asked if I could take Alex on vacation. What's wrong with this? That's some Spider-Man's Uncle Ben moment that Oop had there. It is very bittersweet. I'm so confused why she was voted the asshole for simply asking for something. WTF? All she did was ask if he could come. She didn't demand he go. What about that makes her an asshole? Very sad update though. Imagine what her world would be like if stepdad had waited to have that talk. The whole trajectory of her life would be different. I came into this thread intending to be like. Well, yeah, of course Oop was ta, from the title alone. But how could people have voted she was an asshole after reading that post? She was 19. She was struggling. She knew that she couldn't provide for her and her son. Her parents took over as guardians with an open understanding between all parties. It wasn't some closed adoption or anything close to that. They spoke every day. Multiple times a day. He spent a weekend a month with her. And he calls her mom. The update is heartbreaking but I'm glad that there was love in that last interaction between her. And her stepdad. I'm glad that Oop feels fulfilled with her relationships. All of them. Even if she's grieving. I'm glad her fiancé is supportive and loving. I don't understand AITA at all sometimes. 
Boop did nothing wrong at all. It's both heartbreaking and heartwarming to hear how it turned out. I can't imagine it was an easy decision to have a baby so young and realize you can't properly take care of them. I'm glad this child seems to have a good support system, and that Oop is in a better position to take care of them. While it's terrible to hear that the stepdad died, at least they were able to have a proper talk before he passed. Why is Op an asshole? She called them and asked if Alex could go with them. What's wrong with that? They hadn't even booked the tickets yet. Parents could have just said, sorry we already have plans and that would have been it. NTA. I don't understand AITA sometimes. How is she possibly the asshole in this situation? I don't understand why Oop was the asshole in the first bit. There is nothing wrong with asking and equally nothing wrong with the parents saying they already have plans. Can I take kid on a holiday this week? Quote, no sorry we have plans already for that week. Oh okay, maybe we could organize something for the next holidays. Maybe I am misunderstanding the situation but why was she voted the asshole? All she did was ask? If she had demanded to take him then sure. Asshole. But she didn't? How tf was she the asshole? Reddit is so weird sometimes. But damn idk how to comment on the update. I hope e everyone is okay. Ouch. That, that hit me hard. I don't understand the yta verdict. She just called to ask if he was free that weekend and they blew up at her. I swear Aida hates moms who abandon their kids and try to be better. I remember once this woman got deathly ill and was slowly recovering. But her mom wouldn't let her see her son because she was sick for too long and see the grandma as a mom now. That poor woman got voted ta. Then in the update it turns out the boy dearly missed his mom but grandma wouldn't allow visits and tried to literally kidnap him. Wish I could remember the title of it. Oop's family is grieving and hopefully healing. Oop gets to learn how to be a better mother and support her own mother. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.